Hi, I'm Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to the digital art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today we are going to start a project which is going to be divided into two episodes. We are going to create an imaginary castle or paint this castle on a photograph. I intentionally used a photograph again in this case because I just wanted to make it look like it's actually in a real environment. Obviously it will easy it will be easy to spot that it's a painting on top of a photograph. I don't want to reach a matte painting level. I just want to show you how to work with real colors and real perspective. And um, you can imagine this as a, as a simple concept building, which can be on a white uh, background. But instead of that, I wanted to use a photograph, just as a practice or an experiment. So uh, we will cover the first part of the whole tutorial in this uh, episode. And in the next episode, we are going to finish it with the details. In the first tutorial, we are going to see the sketching part and the planning, the sketching and the color blocking. So let's get started. And as you can see, I start with the simple photograph. And first of all, I'm setting up my brush, selecting the size and the color and the hardness. But as, uh, after that, I'm going to create the vanishing point. And for the vanishing point, if you want to see how it works, you can check out a previous episode where I created the bridge, the train bridge. In this one, I just simply use a saved vanishing point, which you can see now. I created this with the vanishing point filter. And I just roughly create this uh, perspective. I'm not really sure about, uh, in this image it's quite hard to tell the perspective. Um, but roughly I'm, I'm going to uh, follow this guide that I just created and it's on a separate layer so I will be able to turn it on and off. And as you can see on a separate layer I started to sketch the castle, the outlines of the castle and here at this point I'm just completely uh, making up everything. Um, I, whenever I start something, before I start it, I always gather some references. So I did the same uh, thing in this case as well. I looked at uh, paintings and photographs of uh, mainly European castles. This photograph is actually in Spain. I took it um, in Spain. It's a beautiful place and uh, it's quite hidden between the mountains. And that is actually a monastery where I was standing and behind that uh, hill there is this beautiful lake and it, believe it or not this is the actual colors uh, that I saw I didn't change anything on this photograph so this is the exact colors that I've seen uh, for where, when, where I was standing and um, you can see that now I have most of the lines needed for our concept and um, most of the times I don't have the final details in my head I just make it up on the way I, I go and uh, I always try to uh, come up with something interesting so I created this main part of the castle and uh, as you can see the main block is I divided it into two and I just connected now with the bridge and I added two little towers on the top as it's like a symmetrical building but it's a bit more interesting than have it, is, have it as a big block and then I also created a big and a tall tower in the middle connecting again the two buildings together on the way I'm, I'm fixing the perspective of the lines and I'm going to keep changing them on the way and I feel that it needs something on the right side so I'm extending the castle with another uh, tower on the right and a bridge connecting the main part together with this tower and I'm also thinking of in, uh, including something as a, a refuge uh, for the castle uh, in the mountains 
and I already created the little path going up uh, the mountain and I'm thinking of what kind of refuge or uh, camp I would like to have in the back I will just keep it simple it looks like a wall and a gate and then just to have something in the foreground at this point I was thinking of including another tower uh, like a lookout tower on this mountain closer to us uh, but later on I'm going to change my mind and I just uh, focus on the, ta on the main castle so as you can see now I created a new layer and uh, I just changed the opacity of the sketch so I'm filling in the that new layer with colors so this is the color blocking part and here I'm just taking colors from the image itself and um, I'm using the lasso tool and the pen tool to create these selections so it helps me to quickly fill in parts uh, with these color blocks but it's completely up to you how you do it I will show you also how to use the brush just to just to draw over parts um, with the pen tool you can be a bit more precise and you will have nicer cleaner edges with the brush tool it will take a bit more time but to tell the truth I think it's more fun using the brush tool now you can see I started using the brush tool and um, I just would like to have all uh, the parts of the castle filled with colors and at this stage it's not really important what colors you use you just need to differ differentiate uh, the details so like the roofs uh, to the walls and also you will see I'm going to differ differentiate uh, the parts in uh, shadow as you can see the sun is setting on the left side of the screen uh, or on the on the image so that means the light still comes from the left but it's it's um, a, a bit darker uh, setting so the colors will be a bit more muted and darker as you can see on the mountains as well so I'm going to use this uh, lighting scenario so for the colors I just want to make sure that all the elements uh, at this stage are easily recognizable and they're separate so I just uh, use a darker brown for the roofs and uh, and a brighter one for the walls and then even brighter one for those little towers at the bottom and some parts that I would like to also uh, keep separate here at this stage I don't want to spend time on refining uh, parts and working on small details I just want to have a good look at the construction and uh, once the construction is done we can uh, concentrate on the details but that's what I'm going to do in the next episode so in this uh, part we are only going to do the color blocking so it's quite straightforward, straightforward what I'm doing here I'm just simply uh, doing the same thing all over the whole concept so I'm just drawing over it and I'm looking for some details that I can uh, separate uh, with that brighter color so that's like an accent color in this case so there's the wall I have almost everything there now I'm going to uh, do the same thing with this other tower on the left and I just have the bridge there as well and I keep the lines visible as well between the elements uh, once we create the details these lines will disappear or uh, will be more merged into the texture and the co uh, final colors of the castle and now I just change the order of the layers and I move the concept or the sketch behind the color blocks so it's an, a bit cleaner view on the areas which I already uh, filled in with colors and here comes the main building so I'm going to draw in with the brush tool all the little details like the roofs that little bridge part in the middle and the roof on top of that and I'm going to continue doing the same thing with the parts in the background so in this case 
I only have three layers. You can't see my layers panel, but it's really simple to imagine it. I have a layer, the background layer with the photograph. I have a layer with the sketch and I have a layer, uh, the color blocking. So that's all I have. Um, I can keep the uh, vanishing point uh, grid on a separate layer if I need it but that's not really necessary after you uh, come up with the construction lines you don't really need to uh, follow your vanishing point obviously it's good to always uh, check it and um, in this case I'm um, I'm not really bothered because in this case it's quite difficult to tell the pers perspective so I just try to finalize the details and as you can see I'm adding those darker darker details as well just to make it look a bit more realistic and three-dimensional even at this stage even before the the detailing and I already started using the drop shadow or I'm sorry I already started using the Dutch uh, burn tool to create the shadows and I'm doing this actually on the layer itself but uh, I will later on refine these details more and now comes an interesting part I would like to create the brick texture and for that I created a new layer and on that new layer I create a quick drawing for the bricks and I saved it as a custom brush now with this custom brush you can see where I start drawing I can draw these uh, parts easily next to each other if I change the spacing on the brush settings it's under the brush panel if you increase the spacing you can easily find the spacing that you need to be able to draw quickly these lines and I just held down shift to draw them uh, straight and once I have them I just need to use free transform tool to um, align, align these parts onto the walls and uh, then I just use the eraser tool and delete the parts I don't need and um, just bear with me because soon you will see a closer a close-up of the castle at this point I just wanted to keep the whole image visible but uh, in the next tutorial we will look uh, much closer so you will see exactly what I'm doing at this point I'm just using the free transform tool with the warp option to uh, bend these bricks a bit around the towers so make it look it's a, a cylindrical shape and um, I keep all these bricks uh, images or textures now all on separate layers but once I'm done with all of them I'm going to merge them into one layer but I will still keep it as a separate layer for the moment until I'm I'm uh, happy with the details and then I merge it together with the colors so you can see now we have most of the textures I just need to fill in some uh, gaps like uh, on the bridge on the right I still don't have the bricks well, I think I will work on that later on so I'm now using the dodge tool to add some highlights and I'm actually adding these highlights on the brick texture so it's not on the uh, the color block layer it's on the brick texture so I use the dodge tool on that, that layer and this is the detail level that I wanted to achieve in this part of the tutorial and I hope you you liked it and I hope you are interested in seeing how I continue with the detailing part so if you are interested and you want to join me next time you will see how I finish this uh, tutorial and get to this uh, final uh, detail that you can see now on the screen so thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time.